Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. I hope you guys have had a great weekend. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the NFL draft. Um, I am back home after us literally leaving the draft at 430 and hitting the road, stopping three or four times for gas and rest breaks and stuff. Got back here. And my voice is literally gone, so I hope you guys will bear with me. Um, the NFL draft is unbelievable. Um, I had a ball. Um, it was a lot of hard work. Uh, we were on the air the first night, six hours, uh, on my YouTube channel. And, you know, I am not a professional um, sports personality. I just play one here on YouTube. But I have to say that it is addictive and an incredible experience. I've always envied people who could do this for a career, for their livelihood, to be a, a person who loves the sport so much, to be able to bring people the news and things as it breaks and to be an integral part of it is just an incredible thing. And to be able to just scratch the surface here on YouTube, it has become an integral part of my life. I remember when I lost my first channel, um, YouTube had shut it down. It was like I had lost my best friend. Those relationships that I had with the fans, the ability to be able to go on and talk about something that I love hurt me to my soul. And that was with 28,000 subscribers. If you're Michael Irvin and you've been in the limelight at the pinnacle of your career and now it's not there anymore and you're going through and watching an event that you know that you were integral part of and can't anymore, then that hurts. And we saw the tweet from Michael Irvin going into um the draft where he was talking about um, the NFL season, the Super Bowl being um, the pinnacle, the, the culmination of the season, the end of it. Let me read the exact quote from it. He tweeted, this is different. It's hard watching the red carpet of the NFL draft even more so than the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is a, con a congratulatory moment at the end of a long season. The draft is the genesis of young men's dream. His career, his journey. My heart is broken. Michael Irvin is making the case. Now, let me say that my man, Legal Pad, shout out to Legal Pad. He is an attorney. I am not an attorney. I'm not trying to give legal advice or anything. That I don't pretend to know the laws. I am Joe the fan and in the court of public opinion. But if I'm an attorney, Michael Irvin, as far as damages go to this situation, it's up to the judge or the jury to decide if Marriott is neg negligent. And if they are negligent, then what has to then be decided is, is there damage done to Michael Irvin? Well, Michael Irvin just made the case completely, not just from that tweet, Let's take a look at one year ago, one year ago where Michael Irvin was, um, see coming back last night on the road, um, one of my fans, Karen Dugan, shout out to Karen Dugan, who shared a clip to me of Michael Irvin's, uh, draft show that they had. And I want to bring us before I show that clip where we were a year ago with Michael Irvin and his career. It looks great out there. Give us a walking tour. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Chris. It is a beautiful day. This is a beautiful scene, and a lot of beautiful things are about to happen. We are live right here in Las Vegas, the NFL Draft 2022 at the Bellagio Hotel. Each one of these guys will walk this red carpet, and with each step, he will get closer and closer to fulfilling his lifelong dream, my job, and my partner's job right here, Melissa Stark, is to bring those guys to you. That's 
what we're here to do today. How well you doing, done. Melissa? Well done. I'm great. I, I watched you walk by all those showgirls there, Michael, yes, and I'm glad yes. you made your way down here. <laughs> and I made it. Yes, right. you did. And the players are going to make it. It is so nice to be back on the red carpet with you again this year, or the fuchsia yes. carpet, as we should say, right. because this is really one of our favorite nights of the year, because this is a night where dreams are made, where their lives mm. change forever. Yes, and we talked about this, and we talked about, oh, we're back, we're back. As you can see, everybody's around here without masks in Las Vegas. We are really back, and I cannot wait, not just to see where these guys are going in their future, but to hear their stories and find out what was the gas that they put in their tank to get to this point and, and inspire there is, others. There is nothing like a draft in Vegas, and I know you love fashion. Yes. We have to talk about fashion if we're on oh, the red yeah. carpet. There has been some really good fashion through the years since we started the carpet here on NFL Network. And we start with Lamar Jackson. Yeah, you remember Lamar with this green on, and he's speaking louder now because he wants his green from the Ravens. That's <laughs> his money. We got a bunch of guys here. We saw Nick Bosa, Devin Bush. We got yeah. Cameron Irving. And, and I love the big fellas. When the big fellas come in clean like that with the red wine colored suit like that, like Cam and Irving And the shoes. Did. What about the shoes? Well, Tulsa and Flowers both. They both came in. They had great outfits, but but it was about the shoes. And guys, yeah. Zeke was my man. <laughs> he is your man. Y'all saw this right here. When he came in this day, with that half cut off shirt, after all that work he put in, he wanted to show everything. That's where we were last year. That was the draft show from last year. Now, this is where we are this year. Now, this is not to say, because here's the point that Legal Pad had made, that, you know, people like me showing Michael Irvin out in public at autograph signing shows that he's still whole, you know, he's still being Michael Irvin, that he hasn't changed at all. You know, he's still, you know, able to interact. He's still smiling. He's still happy. He's still, you know, getting get paid, you know, doing the autograph signing shows and stuff. But this was the clip or the video, and you can see this, um, Michael Irvin and friends, a uh, draft party, he had my man Charles Haley and stuff there. I had some fans that were there as well watching this. And if I'm an attorney, I'm saying, Judge, Michael Irvin has kind of lost his livelihood for where it was. So to say that YouTube, shout out to YouTube, um, is doing great things. But this is not the same. He's the most talented. He's the most talented. Hey, can I get right there? Everybody looks better than you, Nate. Everybody looks better than you, Nate. Hey. He's all of that. Nate, he's fine and sexy. Thank you. Charles likes his coffee sweet. Y'all showed up for these two guys. I understand that. But tomorrow, I'll be the one here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be here. <laughs> Mr. Newton's in. Hey, Mr. Newton. How you doing, know Nate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll let you know how it is. <laughs> and then, I, then half of them going to walk up to me. Mark, when y'all go, yeah, I kind of agree with you, Nate. Can you sign this much? Oh, they're going to try to get on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my brother couldn't make it. Okay. I got him. I got him, dog. Because you, hey, you who laughed last, man, mm -hmm. I bet. So you think the Cowboys are going to take uh, an offensive tackle? Let me tell you this, though. I, I, uh, and I said this last year, and I'll this up. Last year, when they picked, Ty, they, they picked up that kid, Tyler Smith, Everybody said, who is this, who is this, who is this? And I said, and I had told Steven before that, I said, Steven, listen, man, we're picking late. Let's stop looking, especially this late in the draft, for someone and make it all about a skill. I'll lose a little bit of skill if you get me someone with a greater will. We need tough-minded dudes. I know Tyler Smith. Was okay, so... If he ends up winning the case, um, I say that the damage is the case has been made right here. I don't know if this was done by the attorneys or 
um, to put out there. But this is, to me, definitely evidence of where we were before the incident to where we are now. Um, and to me, watching this was sad. Michael Irvin doing his job is incredible. We are better off listening to what Michael Irvin, his theatrics and all that, his opinion and things on the red carpet and things than we are from this. We'll see where this goes. I don't know what the next step is in the case. I don't think things work as fast in Arizona as the rocket docket did in Texas. We'll see where this goes, but this is definitely not a good thing if you're Marriott making your case. I'm Mark Holmes. I appreciate everybody who was there uh, following along with our draft coverage and being part of the show. All the fans that came up and said hello, and even you Eagle ones. I'm amazed at how many Eagle fans actually came up to us. But we're going to continue to put in the work and bring it to you guys. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you.